Good evening. Thousands of public sector workers have joined the biggest coordinated industrial action in a decade. About half a million workers walked out around the UK demanding pay rises in line with inflation. Civil servants, teachers, university and college staff and some real workers all joined picket lines and rallies protesting at the UK government's move to limit strike action. Our political editor Colin Mackay reports from the Scottish Parliament. What do we want? DCP! What do we want it? Now! It's a simple message from strikers to employers and governments. Thousands of civil servants walked out today, including here at the Scottish Parliament, where Labour and Green MSPs refused to cross their picket line. I will not begin to Parliament as MSP. The Scottish Labour Group discussed the fact that in actual fact we should be supporting the workers to make sure that they do get decent pay terms and conditions. You're going into the Parliament today, yes. crossing the PCS picket line. Why? Uh, well, it's a working day for me and I mean I fully support uh, people's right to strike. We're not crossing the picket line because we stand in support of the workers' rights to strike. Well, the Parliament today has been disrupted. The government of the day has been disrupted. The museums and galleries are closed. The job centres are disrupted. The courts and the Crown Office have people on the picket line and their business will be severely disrupted. This is Walkout Wednesday, with an estimated half a million workers on strike across the UK, 50,000 in Scotland. But neither the Labour leader nor the SNP raised it at Prime Minister's questions. While he sides with extremist protesters and union bosses, we stand up for hard-working Britons and schoolchildren. After 13 years in power, trying to blame the Labour Party for his failure to sort out the strikes is it's rank pathetic. The Prime Minister has made it clear he's offering no more money for public sector pay rises. And this week, MPs voted in favour of his bill forcing a minimum service on strike days. The Scottish Government says if it has the power, it will not implement it. We don't agree with this bill and we've made that very clear to the United Kingdom Government and we want to make sure that it does not have the ability to apply to services that are our responsibility here in Scotland. Now, we can't stop the UK Government legislating for that, but if they respect devolution, they shouldn't even try to do it. The right to strike is a fundamental pillar of our democracy. If workers don't have the right to strike, then they're nothing more than slaves. And for this government to kid us all on that this is about minimum standards is a joke. This government can't deliver minimum standards in our public services on a daily basis because they've starved them of funds for decades. The other big strikes in Scotland today were in education. Teacher strikes in Clickmanon and Aberdeen and a national strike among university staff. Pretty much every university in Scotland is on strike today. Indeed, uh, 150 universities across the UK are taking strike action, so uh, lectures have been cancelled, students won't be able to get support from librarians or IT staff. The disruption is immense and our message is to the employers to get back to the negotiating tables. I don't think that many people realise that we do not get paid for the days that we strike, so there is a financial cost and that hopefully will not be a deterrent and hopefully we don't see more and more across the picket line. However, I do think there is a determination that we have come this far and we will continue to hold the line. There are more public sector strikes to come. Next, looks like the firefighters. See you on the picket lines, comrades. Yeah!